Hello everyone, I'm Nancy Burns, senior producer here at KCLV-TV with your city update. In case the COVID-19 guidelines were not already somewhat confusing, there was another little curveball served up this week. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued new guidance stating that close contacts of confirmed cases may not need to be tested. However, the CDC says it is up to each jurisdiction to make their own judgments about what is best for their respective communities. With that being said, both the Southern Nevada Health District and the state of Nevada health officials continue to recommend COVID-19 testing for all close contacts, whether symptomatic or not. First, from the health district, officials there say because many people infected with the virus that causes COVID-19 can show no or very minor symptoms, they consider it important to ensure testing be readily available to the public. Health district officials go on to say that community collection sites and access to testing play an integral role in mitigation efforts, along with wearing face coverings and social distancing. More information on testing site locations and appointment requirements from the health district can be found at snhd.info slash COVID-19 testing sites. Now, from the Southern Nevada Health District to the entire state of Nevada, the state also confirms it will not be adopting the new guidance from the CDC when it comes to testing. State health officials concur with the health district in strongly recommending testing for all individuals symptomatic or asymptomatic if they have come in contact with a person diagnosed with COVID-19. So to sum up the recommendations by both state and the health district. If an individual has been in close contact or spent a significant amount of time with a person confirmed or suspected of the coronavirus, whether or not they feel symptoms, well, that person needs to be tested. Close contact is defined as six feet and a significant amount of time is defined as 15 minutes or more. Moreover, if you do get tested, it's recommended you self-quarantine or isolate until you get your test results, then follow the advice of your health care provider on how to proceed depending on those results. Here's another website, this one from the state, where you can get more information on testing sites across Nevada, nvhealthresponse.nv.gov. As we told you in a previous update, Nevada has developed a proximity-based exposure app called COVID Trace for Google and Apple devices. Since it is a newer phone update, some have been having issues trying to get it downloaded. Now, if you're interested in downloading the tracing app and you're having difficulty, you can email questions and request help to this address, help at covidtrace.com. Any challenges you're having can be addressed through that email. COVID Trace is a free and easy to use mobile phone app that gives health officials information needed to fight the virus without compromising your privacy. It is aimed at helping Nevadans protect each other and slow the spread by notifying you if you have likely been exposed to the virus. As of this week, COVID Trace has been downloaded 15,000 times. That does it for this city update. Keep up on all the latest information on COVID-19 and our continued fight against this pandemic by tuning into Channel 2 or checking out lasvegasnevada.gov slash coronavirus. Stay safe and we will see you for the next city update.